The pianist can spend a very long time of their childhood and their developing years in a room by themselves and aren't forced to actually start collaborating. And so uh, it's particularly important for pianists in playing a concerto to learn the orchestration, to learn the orchestra part, to know where the, first of all, what to expect, what to expect to hear, but also who needs to hear you. Here's a clarinet that's about to come in. That clarinet needs to know where you are. Uh, here's a pizzicato. You know, pizzicati don't play themselves. You know, they have to be prepared and they have to be exact. Uh, all of those kind of little things are like super, super important so that when you study a, a, a concerto, you should also be studying the orchestra score as well so that you know everything that's there. You and I are rehearsing. We just met each other. Now, if, if I'm lucky, I get to have a whole rehearsal with you alone at the piano for, you know, an hour or two. If I'm unlucky, it's during the lunch break of the second day of orchestra rehearsals. And you, you come in, you have a 10 to 12.30 rehearsal and you're conducting, I don't know, a Brahms symphony, a Beethoven symphony. And then we're gonna have a two hour rehearsal in the afternoon I'm gonna give you the last 40 minutes. And I have to, I, I, I have to eat a sandwich while, I, while you come and play for me. Okay, and I say to you, hmm, can you play that for me really clearly and slowly? I need to understand that because I'm not sure how to follow that. And why? It's natural because it's not one, two, three, four, right? It's two, three, four, one. And somehow or other, I've got to catch you at the end of that. So see if you can see if you can play it clearly to me in such a way that I can understand it. Okay. So I'll tell you one thing. If I can clearly hear the bass note. Uh, on the fourth beat of the bar, that chord in your left hand, if I can hear a clear attack, I've got a better chance. And then I'm going to attach my ear to the last notes in your right hand. But the left hand is going to help me now. Okay, can we try that? Ah, now already I, I've digested my sandwich because I understood that. I'm not so nervous, all right? There's no music that you can afford to ignore. So, yes, you have to practice the number of hours a day that's appropriate for you to practice. But when you're, when you're done, uh, you would learn a lot more by going to a symphony concert with no piano, for instance, or going to an opera or going to a song recital. You know, the song literature, it's called Lieder in German, it's one of the richest uh, uh, forms of music. And you will, if you're lucky, encounter some of it uh, as pianists. Uh, but there's also so much chamber music that is worth hearing. So as a pianist, you're not gonna play string quartets but you will play some piano quintets and things. But that's not the point. The point is that every experience of everything you hear is going to make you a better pianist.